Hello everyone, and welcome to the second part on the procedural content generation plugin in Unreal Engine 5. In the previous video, I showed you the basics of the PCG plugin. In this video, I want to show you how to create some diversity in your content generation. Instead of using trees, foliage, or rocks, I'm using static assets from the warehouse environment in Quingsoul Bridge. In the last episode of this series, I showed you how to use the transform points node, which allows you to create some randomness in your procedural content. Here, if you see, I can change the rotation or the scale of my assets, which will create more diversity in the scene. However, the number of items is pretty much the same for all the meshes. One way to change that is to change the weight of each item. If you go in the static mesh partner and you go into the mesh entries, you can change the weight of each element of the array. In here, you can see that if I change the weight to 3, more of this mesh is going to appear on the scene. And here, if I change the weight of the barrel to 3, more barrels are going to pop up on the scene. One important thing about weight is that the minimal value is 1. If you put 0, then the mesh is going to disappear. Besides weight, you have another way to add diversity in your scene. You can have multiple surface samplers depending on the category of the item. For example, one for grass, one for rock, or one for trees. In this case, I'm going to have a surface sampler for each element of my array, which is a barrel, a box, and a palette. You can then combine this to the different weights of each element in the static mesh array, and then you can create some nice diversity in your scene. Now that you can have more diversity, you probably notice that all the objects in the scene are kind of overlapping. Even if you change the bounds, then some of them still overlap over each other. How to fix overlapping objects and understand bounds in the PCG plugin is going to be the topic of the next video. See you then!